morning, students. How are you today? I hope you've had a fantastic night and you're ready for learning today. We're going to start with our learning target. Get those bows ready. Let's say it together. I can collect and organize data. Let's say that one more time. Targets. I can collect and organize data. What is data? Data is a fancy word for information. So I'm going to underline that word and I'm going to write the word information underneath of it. Today, we're actually going to be collecting and organizing data about our friends to learn a little bit more about each other. Isn't that fun? You know, I was thinking one of the first things we want to make sure we're doing is that we are ready on the, in our math spaces. Does everybody have their notebooks in front of them? Hot diggity. What about your pencils? Are they in their resting spot? Oh, and look at those net math toolbox. I'm looking around and I'm seeing everyone has their math toolbox at the top above their pencil. We are getting ready to ask you and do a little survey question. Our first survey question, it's a question that we're just dying to know, is what is your favorite playground activity? Now, here at Battle, we don't have any swings. So I put something different in there for our rock climbing wall. What is your favorite playground activity? Is it the slides? You love to go sliding? Remember, don't shout out. When you think you know, you're gonna put a thumb in front of your tummy. You might even give me some wiggly eyes to let me know that you are ready, but you're not doing it for anybody else. You're doing it just for me. So you're gonna take some private reasoning time. Remember, that's one of our habits of interaction. We really wanna make sure that we are taking time to think about what we want to say and what we want to and we, what we want to share. We want everybody else to have a chance to think too. Private reasoning time. We want that time to think. Maybe you don't like to sw slide. Maybe you like to climb on that rock wall. Maybe you just love to visit with your friends because you haven't seen them since March. Or maybe you want to get out on that field and you want to play football or basketball or soccer. Take a minute and think, what's your favorite playground activity? You might have more than one. You're just picking one for today. Put your thumbs in front of your tummies when you think you know. Is it sliding, climbing, visiting with friends? Is it playing games? Remember those thumbs. Awesome. I'm going to go around and I want you to tell me what your favorite is. Actually, before you do that, I want you to turn to the person sitting next to you. I just want you to whisper to them what you're thinking. All right. If you chose sliding, I want you to raise your hand. Remember, if you chose something different, you're not raising your hand for sliding. Marker wasn't working very well, so I'm going to grab a different one. Okay. I just drew three tally marks. Can you all say tally marks? Tally marks are a way to collect our data. Okay. This is a tally chart. This is going to organize our data. That means put it in a way that we can see it clearly. Three friends chose sliding, so I put three tally marks. Let's see how many people chose climbing. If you are a climber, raise your hand. Okay. Watch this, guys. This is going to blow your mind. There's actually five friends who chose climbing. So I did my four tally marks, one, two, three, four. But when I draw the fifth tally mark, I don't draw another one over here. I actually make this little guy slant. I like to say one, two, three, four, five falls down. It slides to the side. Five friends chose climbing, so I've got five tally marks. This is a group of five, and you can see that because that fifth one is falling down. How about our 
our visiting with friends. Who likes to visit with friends outside? Only two of you? What? I think Ms. Baker would definitely be joining that group normally. One, two. Okay, last one. And I know this is a favorite of a lot of our friends at battle. Raise your hand if you love to go to the field and play some games. Oh my goodness. Holy guacamole. Can you count with me? I see seven friends who love to go play on the field. So I want us to do that together. And don't forget to remind me when that fifth one goes, we gotta do the five falls down. One, two, three. I'm hearing you counting, thank you. Four, five falls down. Six, seven. Oh, take a look at that data or information. Just take a minute, I want you to think to yourself, remember that private reasoning time again, you're not saying anything, you're just keeping it tight in that brain and thinking about it. And when you're ready to share, that thumb's gonna go in front of your tummy. That's to let me know and only me know that you're ready. Because sometimes other friends are still having, wanting to have that private think time and they get nervous and we start to see hands up in the air. So, thumbs in front of your tummy is when you're ready. What is something that you notice about this data or information? What do, we, what do you think? Playing games has the most. How do you know it has the most? You're right, because it has more tally marks than the other ones. What else do we notice about this data? Yes, visiting with friends has the least, the smallest number. How do you know? Right, because there's only two here, but there are more. All the other numbers, three, five, and seven, are bigger than two. So, two, visiting with friends, is the least favorite. Now, I have some specific questions for you. How many more people chose playing games than climbing. Ooh, take a minute, private reasoning time. Thumbs, let me know that you're ready. Playing games, then climbing. How many more? Look at that data and those tally, that tally chart to help us a little bit. Now I want you to do something wild and crazy for me. I want you to turn and face your partner. When you turn and face your partner, you're going to turn and face knee to knee and eye to eye, and you're gonna be crisscross applesauce. That means that you're on your bottom with your knees crossed, and you're just gonna look at your partner. You're not gonna say anything to him, okay? Don't say anything. See which partner can do it. Right here, right here, right here. Awesome. Oh my gosh, that's wonderful. Now, look at your partner. Which partner has the longest tail? Will you put your hand up in the air if you have the longest tail? Awesome. I want you to be my A person. That means you're actually gonna have a chance to share first today, okay? Now, we are going to think about something called listen and compare. When we have our partner conversation, our partner talk, we want to make sure that both people in our partnership can hear and have an opportunity to share. So, my partner A, sometimes it's my green partner, you are going to share how many more you think chose playing games than climbing, and you're going to tell why. And guess what, Bs, you're not an A, you're a B, or you're a yellow, you are just listening. You are really listening to hear what your partner is saying and why they think that. Understand me? Awesome. Then we'll switch. And I promise P Bs and yellows, you will have a chance to share as well. Okay? And then we'll have a chance to compare our ideas at the end. This is not going to take a, a, a very long time. I'm going to come around, I'm going to listen to what you're saying, and I might pop in and talk with you to ask you questions as you're sharing. All right, second grade? A's, go ahead. Oh, I almost forgot something. When you're sharing with your partner, both of your partners should be able to hear. 
So you want to make sure that you're using a small voice, loud enough for your partner to hear, but quiet enough so that not everybody else hears you. Let's practice that. Say your name with that small voice. Wonderful. All right, the A's, go ahead and say, I think or this many more people chose playing games than climbing because, don't let your name tell why or how you know. Go. Holy guacamole, look at you guys. All right, I want you to switch. Now A's, you gotta put on those listening ears. Click those on and seal your lips. If you're like Miss Baker, you might even have to hold your hand over your mouth so you don't say something because you cannot stand to not talk. Okay? All right. B's, you're going to have a chance to share your thoughts. You're not, you're not talking about their, your partner's ideas at all right now. You're just sharing what you think. I think it's this many more because. Go, B's. masters at this partner talk. We're going to do one more thing before we come back together and answer these questions. Okay? We are going to compare. Our answer or our idea was the same because or it's different. Maybe you might even do, be doing some new learning because you're, you and your partner had different answers. So we're going to take about 30 seconds to talk about how they were the same or how they were different. All right. Can I have this partnership share over here? How many more people chose playing games than climbing? How did you know to? Oh, because these fives matched up and these two were extras. Can I have you give me a wiggle waggle? Looks like this. I call it a wiggle waggle if you agree with that. Holy guacamole, look at all those wiggle waggles. That's fantastic. I have another one for you. And this one, we're not going to have partner talk. We're just going to have a chance to put our thumb in front of our tummy and share. How many fewer people chose visiting with friends and sliding? How many fewer chose visiting with friends than sliding? Take a little bit of private think time, remember, in your head, thumb in front of your tummy, when you are ready to share. Over here, what did you say? One fewer? How do you know? Oh. There is one fewer visiting. I'm going to put a little, little speech bubble. with friends than swinging, not swinging, sliding, my goodness, because two is one less than three. Two is one less than three. And we can even see that. There's an empty space here where that third one could be. So one of you was looking at just that picture and seeing that there's two extras there to find out how many more. Here, we're thinking about the numbers, those nice small numbers that we just know in a snap and the difference between those two numbers. Great thinking. We're gonna be tackling another problem in just a minute. Hold tight, second grade.